Hi guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. The party had their well-deserved rest at this little makeshift camp back here, but our nap time is over. It is time for us to continue pressing forward. We need to continue following Volta into the unknown, and the unknown is leading us into what looks to be a giant chamber. Oh, the wellspring. Shepardal built all this? Or was it here before them? Wow, this is, this is crazy. Claim a landmark here. We actually unlocked a codex about the wellsprings. Let's go check that out. In a time that only the stone remembers, there was a tie in the deepest caverns ruled by a wise old king. The riches in the stone had provided well for the tie. Lyrium flowed like water from the ground. Gold and jewels sprouted from the walls like mushrooms, and the people wanted for nothing. One day, the king returned to the stone and left behind two sons to vie for his throne. Neither had been named heir, and so each sought to prove to their father's assembly that he was best suited to be king. The first son journeyed far and wide across the deep roads, forging alliances with other tigs, and returned home bearing word of the goodwill of distant kingdoms and their promises of future friendship. But the assembly was not impressed with words and promises, and would not name him heir. So the second son mined the ground for wealth, Every last scrap of lyrium, every nugget of gold he dug up and gifted to the Tig. But the assembly, accustomed to abundance, was not impressed. So the second son dug further and further into the stone. So far that he broke through to the other side and found the sky. And this he claimed for his Tig, and the assembly named him king. But the assembly wanted him to bring back his treasure for the Tig. The new king climbed down and down the endless mine until he reached the sky, he try as he might, he could not pull the sky up, nor strike it to pieces with his pickaxe. The new king mined out more and more earth, trying to carve a path to the sky. And finally, he undermined his tig so much that the whole kingdom broke loose and fell far, far into the ground and up into the sky. King, assembly, and tig were never seen again. Interesting. Alright, so that's what we have here, I guess. Wow, this is so beautiful. They're right. It's like, he dug so far, he came out on the other side of the world and found sky. I know that's not actually what's happening, but it truly does look like it. It's, it's beautiful. Nothing should surprise me anymore. But this... Wait. The rhythm we followed. We have found the source. But not the Titan. I mean, we can't be sure of that. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not here. How would we even recognize a Titan? All we know is that they're enormous. We've found the Titan. Huh? We're standing inside it. Huh? What do you mean, inside? Think back to when we left the ruined Tig. I could feel that this wasn't the Deep Roads. The Shabratal attacked because we invaded a place only the pure are allowed to enter. The body of the Titan. Orzammar must know the truth. I won't fall while Corypheus is still a threat. Okay, I can't lie. That kind of poses more questions than it did provide answers. So we're inside? At some point, we went from the deep roads into the body of the Titan. The Titan is so huge that it's literally part of the Earth itself. And the Shalbertold live inside of it. Protecting it? What? Well, okay, yeah. I've got a lot of questions. We're gonna take care of these guys first, and then hopefully we can get some answers here. Um, if that's the case, perhaps that giant gemstone we saw is like it's hurt. I guess we'll we'll head down and, and find out. We got one earth shaker standing in the way first.
crazy to me that this is what the inside of a titan looks like. It looks beautiful. Earthshaker is down. Well, Dorian actually infused his soul to fight for us, but <laughs> he's down now. Thanks, Dorian. And we have got to head below. Our quest now tells us to approach the Shalbertol Shrine. Could there be a whole civilization in here? A city within a Titan? Incredible. And the quakes haven't damaged it. I mean, by the looks of the old stories, yeah, they they did make a city inside this this Titan in the old days where they, they burrowed into it. And I guess then at some point, these Shah Bertol came down here. I'm not sure if those are the same people that were referenced in the story or if this is just a different group of people entirely, but they have become protectors of the Titan. And the coolest part about it all is that they live inside of the Titan. They don't just protect it in the in the standard sense. Oh, they're not letting us through without a fight either. Bodies. Keep moving. So much loot. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. There's even trees in here. Like, the logic of that works, but you know what? I'm not going to question it too hard. It's a good comparison, yeah. I mean, I suppose if your whole purpose is to protect this titan, you're not afraid to die if it's the whole reason you live. Well, we're getting closer. I expect a lot of resistance the closer we get to the shrine. Speak of the devil. Everyone get down this ladder quick. I need your help. Well, 
I'm gonna need you to do a better job at drawing aggro, buddy. For some reason, they're all attacking me! It's not ideal. Alright, there we go. Yeah, they had quite a force here on this final bridge. Well, actually, I don't even think it is the final bridge, so I can only imagine the forces they have mustered uh, on the bridges up ahead, but... As I said before, the closer we get to that shrine, the more and more resistance we are encountering. Alright, just the Earth Shaker left. Two Earth Shakers, actually. one guys luckily for us Dorian brought the other earth shaker back to life to uh, help us there at the end which was a nice touch thanks Dorian this is why I bring you along dude <laughs> you're you come in clutch in these big situations Make sure I don't miss any of this loot. Normally, you know, it doesn't really matter, but down here, every single piece of loot has so much gold. I'm getting like 200 gold per piece of loot. That adds up quickly. We're gonna come out of come out of here rich. area. That phrase is the path of purity, and there's a reference to Titan's blood? It says the Shabratal come here to drink it. Oh. Hmm. And the Titan allows this? Why would a Titan let the Shabratal live here and drink its blood? I'm not convinced it sees us as anything more than insects, or parasites. Lyrium. The Titan's blood is Lyrium. What? This could cripple Orzammar. Every nation on the surface buys Lyrium. Orzammar's entire economy is based on the trade. This is bigger than any one nation. We have to stop this! So this this is pretty big. Um, we found the source of Lyrium. Lyrium is the blood of Titans. That's where it comes from. Wow, yeah, that's that's actually a really, really big discovery. So this is the source of Lyrium. And look, you can see it flows up through like veins. So when they say veins of lyrium, they mean it as in, like, veins of ore. But the veins is actually quite literal. It is the veins of a titan that brings lyrium to the surface. That's... wow. That's pretty crazy. Doesn't look like this thing is interesting- interested in talking, so it looks like we're gonna have to fight. Holy crap, this thing is huge! It's 
called the Guardian. The Guardian of the Heart, I guess. Ow. Spread out a little bit. He's just gonna crush us all. So he's got all these little bits around him. Little tentacles, if you will, that I suppose we need to, uh, to destroy. Fortunately, we lost one of our tanks when he shot our friend away. So, Bull, you're gonna have to be extra on your game. Holy crap! Okay, he can literally throw you right off the edge. Good to know. <laughs> Excellent. This. Oh my god. This should be fun. Alright, I'll tell you one thing. Getting knocked off the side gets old really fast. <laughs> I don't know if there's some mechanic I'm supposed to be doing so it doesn't do this, but this is this is honestly really freaking annoying. Um, if you guys have any experience with this fight, you'll have to let me know in the comments section down below if uh, there's anything you can do to prevent getting knocked off the edge, or if you found it just as frustrating as I did, because this this is annoying. Once you get the tentacles down, its lyrium clusters get exposed, which is where you do the true damage, I suppose. Give everything we got. Try to take this down. And keep barriers up on everybody so our health doesn't get completely destroyed when he inevitably knocks us off the edge, but it's a little bit easier said than done. Ow. See? Easier said than done. Getting low in health. He's got about a quarter health left. And I haven't gotten knocked off the edge in a while, so honestly, things are looking up. We are just smashing this Lyrium Cluster as much as we can. Avoiding these pillars that come up through the ground. Come on, guys. Hopefully there's no phase two to this fight, or that's when things are gonna get real tough. Speak of the devil. All of my allies are currently dead or dying. Oh god. I spoke too soon. Bolt, get up. Almost there. Come on, gang. Did we do it? Holy crap, we did it. The Guardian is down and we've reached level 20. Woo! Volta, are you hurt? <gasps> Too loud. The song. Stop! Uh oh. Balta. What is happening? I am 
It's all right. But dwarves can't perform magic. You cast some kind of spell. That shouldn't be possible. It wasn't a spell. It was an accident. Everything will be fine. Um, that sounds sus. What happened to you? It looked like you were hit by raw lyrium during the battle. Yes, it should have poisoned me, but I feel fine. Good, even. Ah. Huh. Tell me about the song that you're hearing. You said the song was too loud. It was hurting you. It was chaos. The rhythm I followed here, but magnified, overwhelming. But it is gone. So did she just get infused with raw lyrium and gain the ability to use magic? Should I be afraid? You almost killed me. What happens the next time you lash out? I am in control. I would never harm you, Inquisitor. Well, lots of things are coming to light. The presence of Titans, the real backstory of Lyrium, and now potentially a dwarf that can use magic? I'm concerned about you. We should get help. You may be injured or... I feel better than I ever have. Stronger, more alive. The stone is silent. The rhythm has faded. And so have the tremors. But the song still echoes. It tells me things. The breach. That's what disturbed the Titan. It is calm now that it has a connection with one of its children. With me. What? So what did we actually fight here? Was that the Titan? Did we kill it? The Titan lives. This was an echo. A guardian. But you silenced it. So, did this happen to King Garal? Is this what happened at the Tide where you found Paragon Garal's book? Aye, but I do not know what disturbed the Titan then. The song may tell me, in time. So, one of its children? You said you are a child of the stone, not a child of the Titans. I am not certain what I am, but the Titan recognized me, like a parent hearing its child's voice. You've been changed, Volta. The Titan changed you, Volta. You need to be cautious. I am different, but I am still a Shaper. Isana, it's our word for Lyrium, and we are taught that it is a gift from the stone. But there's so much more to it than we ever imagined. I was sent to the Deep Roads to recover lost history. This is only the beginning. I am staying here. You don't fear the Shabertal? The Shabertal killed Lieutenant Wren, and they're still down here. Aren't you afraid? No. I am pure. I can defend myself. Okay. Um, the beginning of what? The Titan is only the beginning? What else could there be? The deep roads are filled with wonders. Answers to questions we haven't thought to ask. How will you survive down here? If you stay here, where will you live? What will you eat? I have my stone sense, and now so much more. I'll be safe. Okay, um... You're assuming so much, though. You think you understand what's happened to you, but you could be wrong. Delirium could be turning you into a Shabertal, or worse. The Shabertal turned themselves into monsters. I have changed because the Titan willed it. The mines collapse, Ren's death. It all happened to bring me here. If she wants to stay, that's her business. I'd like to see the sun again. Nothing good ever happens in the Deep Roads. This won't be any different. I am called to the Search Inquisitor. This is where I belong. I'm leaving with more questions than answers. But that doesn't mean you have to. Just be careful. The Shaper and Orzammar will want to know what happened to you. Tell them the truth. You don't know. Let's go.
always comes back. Pay up, Soroka. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have gone down to the deep roads, deeper than the deep roads, actually. Gone into the body of a titan, and I've come back to tell the tale. Um, as I mentioned previously, I've never played this DLC, um, so all of this was new to me, which is rather exciting. Um, this actually leaves a lot of possibilities for future Dragon Age games. Knowing that there's something that created the dwarves, if you will, or something older than the dwarves and the titans, these giant creatures that live beneath the stone. Knowing that Lyrium comes from the titans, and especially knowing that perhaps some of the dwarves can learn magic if they are infused with the Lyrium directly. All of that definitely opens some doors for things to happen in, in future Dragon Age uh, games, so... I'm very excited to see where things go from here, but for now, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining me, not only through this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition in general, but of course also through this DLC, The Descent. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, before we go, I see that we did unlock a few codex entries, so let's read those and then we will call it a day. So first up, we have an entry about the Shabbatol, which is actually straight from Shape Revolta. It's a torn page from her handwritten journal that was discovered among trade correspondents delivered to Skyhold this morning. The Inquisition's courier could not recall how or when it came into her possession. Friends murderers hide in the shadows, watching me from a safe distance. The Shabbatol saw the Titan favor me with the gift of shaping stone. I am more powerful than they will ever be. They fear me. They love me. They understand I am a part of the Titan they defend. They don't realize it doesn't need their protection. It never has. Whoever these dwarves once were, whatever motives drove them to remain here, now they are only lost. I don't sleep anymore, but sometimes I stop to listen. Yesterday, or was it an hour ago, I became aware of a Shabbatol who had crept close enough to leave an offering, an empty suit of their armor. Did they think I would wear it? Lead them? All their gift did was summon the image of my dead friend as I returned him to the stone. I left the armor where it lay. Tomorrow, no, it was just a moment ago, I enter one of their towers. I sense how rapidly they flee my approach. They think I come to destroy them, but I don't have to get close to do that. I'm just curious to see how they live. Do they live? The tower offers no answers. It is quiet and spare, reminding me of descriptions of the topsiders' temples to their gods. But the towers' temples? Fortresses? Both, perhaps. Only one chamber provided anything of interest to me. A domed, circular courtyard held a pool of the titan's blood at its center. Empty suits of armor sat neatly in a circle around the pool. Is this where Shabratol come to be entombed in their metal skins? What smith makes this armor, and where does it come from? My lost kin are hiding something. They have a tie somewhere. I have no interest in finding that citadel of the Shabratol, but another might. That's so interesting to not only learn about a bit more about the Shabratol, but also to learn about um, what Volta has been up to and how she's become more than just a dwarf in so many ways now. She's become almost godlike in a way. Here's another entry about the Guardian. Josephine found a torn handwritten journal page tucked into papers on her desk and immediately delivered it to the Inquisitor. The page was obviously written by Shaper Volta, but the Inquisition's ambassador cannot explain its appearance in Skyhold. I don't remember most of what happened at the end. Inquisitor, Inquisitor Adar fought to stop the earthquakes, and we raced together through a place more beautiful than anything I had ever seen. How it could be the source of all that devastation confused me. It still does. I felt Ren's absence with every step as we ran to the Great Circle. Immense lyrium veins pulsed with life, and their power flowed into the circle. Something grew from it. A towering being born from the stone rose to stop us. The Guardian. It lashed out, and I fell into a warm light's embrace. I thought I was returning to the stone. Perhaps I did. The light receded as I awoke in paradise. The guardian lay shattered. The inquisitor stood triumphant. A victory, but I could not take any joy in it. The guardian had come to defend the titan, protect the stone from being weakened. It tried to kill the inquisitor, but to me, it offered only gifts. I hoped to use them well, and someday understand why I was chosen to receive them. And finally, the last entry from this DLC is Titans. I finally found one of those lost chapters. It's impossible to describe in words how truly vast a titan is. 
The one I met is so large you could only glimpse parts of it. I had wandered inside its body for who knows how long without even realizing it. I've heard tales of dragons and giants on the surface, but descriptions of their size do not compare to the Titans. Its blood now flows through me, and its song fills the gaps in her history. I close my eyes and see glimpses of the world that was, before everything changed and the dwarven race broke in two. Something caused the Titans to fall, and the fate of my people fell with them. The Titan wants me to know. No, more than that. It wants me to understand. There is a loneliness to its song. Oh, sorry. I, I actually skipped the first paragraph. This, uh, this is another piece of Shea Balta's personal journal. The Titans are real. I knew at the moment I unearthed that ancient text. Ren scoffed at the words I read. I couldn't blame him, even as I felt the truth settle on me like a warm cloak. Much of our history has been lost, and the wall of memories goes back only so far. There had to be more to the story of our people. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of lore, lots of new discoveries, and lots of fun in the DLC, The Descent.